Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at one of the smallest Class C motorhomes on the market today. This is a 2021 Coachman Freelander Model 22XG. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews it's the world's only channel giving you a true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited to be taking a look at this really small Class C motorhome my opinion it's so much better this for the person if they're looking for a Class B but they just want more sleeping space a bigger bathroom and more storage but before I begin I would like to say hi to Andrea Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! Happy belated birthday! Thank you! Yesterday. And I want to thank everybody who wished me a happy birthday. You guys made me feel so special. And Seriously. Honestly, it, it really warmed my heart. Thank you. They made me feel special. I couldn't believe Our how many people. Our crew is awesome. And, and if you guys are wondering how everybody knew it was Andrea's birthday, it was on our Facebook group, Club Art Deco. So if you haven't joined, <laughs> we'll link it down in the description below. Thank you everybody. You made Andrea's day. Let's begin. And, and not to mention that I had one person call me and sing me happy birthday. That was Andrea P. White. Thank, Thank you. you, Andrea P. White. You really did make my day. Thank you. Model is 22XG, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 3 inches. This is the Coachman Freelander. It's their entry level motorhome, but I love that. Again, there's so much I love about this motorhome. This isn't, I call this, this isn't for the person who's looking for a Class C. This is for the person looking for a Class B who gets in a B. It's like, whoa, that's way too small. We do have a bunk over the cab right there. And there is some new features for 2021. And uh, this one actually was optioned with the E-Series chassis. It's the E350. If you watched our 2020 video, that one had the Chevy chassis. This one has the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower, 468 foot pounds of torque. Woohoo! I love that. Check out these tires, Andrea. These are the hand cooked tires. Oh, by the way, we're happy you're back, Andrea. Andrea has been gone for two episodes. Um, she got, if you guys didn't know, on Monday she got stuck in traffic. And then on Thursday we were up in uh, Ohio. They're the uh, Dynapros LT225-75 R16 with those nice shiny Phoenix USA rims. Oh, that's interesting. I've, I've never, never seen, seen those. Thing. It's the Phoenix. Coming down the side, new for 2021 is this graphics package. I haven't seen that. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. It's a big awning for this little motorhome. Now all the awnings coming out, Andrea, since this is a Coachman motorhome, I want to explain what Asdale is. It does have Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. So if there ever is a leak, um, it won't delaminate on you because of Asdale, which is awesome. Very nice. Great size. Yeah, as Andrea said, great size awning for being so small. I love that. Right here, it is prepped for solar. If you do want to have a Furion solar, you got the plug right there. And then right here, it's going to be your propane. And Andrea, we'll have all the tank sizes, lengths, widths, specs, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who is watching on television. Finishing up, you got our water heater right here. I wish they continued the decal. It is what it is. And then underneath, that is your handle for your black and gray tank. Interesting. Yep. Right here's your uh, power TV for the outside. And then this is a propane quick connect. Awesome. If you do want to hook up a grill on the outside. Coming around the back, Andrea. That is a bumper for your stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. You do have a backup camera right there and there's no ladder to get up on the roof. And this is the first time I'm actually okay with that because 
since there is no ladder, here's what you get. You get this incredible wow. rear door. Wow, look, it has a screen too. This is so awesome, Andrea. Uh, we're gonna leave this open and we're gonna make everybody wait. Okay. So you guys can see what this does. Don't even show that okay. part. Okay, Matt, what's the roof made out of? It's a TPO roof. Okay. Cool. Coming around the side. Or, um, it's not TPO roof, it's the uh, PVC, PVC crossover flesh mix, whatever. And then look at this storage as well. Wow. That is huge. The Like, you guys don't even know what that back does is incredible storage. But um, and down that's here, even more storage. We have the sewer. Yep, that's where you dump your black and gray tanks. Really nice. Here's where you fill up your fuel. No slide outs on this motorhome, so it is the way it is at all time. 30 amp power cord, water hookup, potable water fill. Potable, potable. I beat you. You beat me to it. And then right here is going to be your generator, Andrea. It is a Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. I can't wait to see this. I haven't seen a motorhome without slides in a while. And I'm just glad to be back down in Florida. <laughs> Check and it out. What is our cargo carrying capacity, Matt? See, see, see. Okay. It's not right there. Here it is, guys. This is how it is at all times. I love it. Plenty of walkway. Bathroom is here. Okay, and there is the bed. Very nice. I can't find it, Andrea. Well, isn't there a sticker right here? Oh, there it was yeah, the whole time. That's what I see. Cargo carrying capacity, 3,154 pounds. That's insane for this. Very nice. Now, Andrea, normally we start up front, but I want to start in the back. Okay. I, I need to show everybody what this does. So look, we have our nice corner bed, okay? But there's a back door there. That looks very big. I mean, is that even, what is that, a full or a queen? It looks yeah, big it, it, it to is be a big. full. It is big, but watch this. Wow. Oh, it just goes up. Oh, it, so you don't have to latch it in. Locks That's in the place. That's awesome. And then your, mo your motor home just became a toy hauler, a kayak hauler, has D-rings, bicycle hauler. This is the coolest thing. Look how much space it is back here. It's absolutely incredible. Let's start, uh, well not start, let's continue on to the cab. All right, Andrea. This is the E350 chassis, okay? It's the new one, you can tell with the steering wheel. You got your digital readers, to let you know how fast you're going, how many miles to empty, power windows over here and everything. Andrea, how does my co-captain seat feel? Oh, feels very nice. Yep. Just like the rest of them. Yep, exactly. Um, you know, this, even though it's small, it really oh. doesn't feel small. Right. Oh! Right, very nice. Cool, look at this. As small as it is, it still feels really spacious. And let me tell you, driving this thing's just like driving a normal van. You have no slide outs, this is the way. Screen. Yep, it is the way it is at all times. And it's very, very nice. Huh? Okay. Cool, and then above the cab, we Ooh, do have... Sorry. <laughs> We do have a bunk over the cab. I, I love this. I like the safety feature right there. Yep. What Andre is talking about is the safety net. You buckle up. You got little ones up there. Yep. Don't gotta now worry they... about them falling out. Yep, exactly. Very nice. And then you just press and press, and then you have a TV you above. Got USBs up there, you guys, HDMI cable. And here the TV does swing out. Yep, very nice TV on a swing arm bracket. And then we do have our dinette right here. Now this is called a J lounge, okay? Let me get over here. Uh, yep, good sorry. Well, what's very interesting is Andrea, the lounge is right here, but if you do need some additional sleeping or sitting, this pulls out and there's a cushion in here that goes on that. Also, 
This drops down to make a bed as well. Got a cup holder back there. Sure does. And then look at this. Nice window. Huge window. So big and nice. And then we do have some storage above. Right there. And right there. That's pretty good storage for this. Sure is. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is... $88,840 MSRP. Wow. Sale price, we have it 27% off to $64. 999 that is a phenomenal that price. is a crazy price and that is so much cheaper than a class b and you get so much more space but andrea doesn't matter how much cheaper it is than a class b how good of a price or bad of a price it is we can always get everybody a better price than that absolutely tell everybody what to do you can call you can text you can email you can facetime hey 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell phone, or send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com, or even better, go to mattsrvreviews.com. You will see three contact tabs. If you're ready to buy this unit, click contact one, tab number one, and somebody from my team will contact you to get you... The best price in America! If you still have questions about this RV or any other RVs this size, or any RV, click number two. Me, Andre, or Will will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to answer your questions ASAP or if you just have a generalized fan question or a message to Andrea click number three or join us on Club Art Deco but Andrea doesn't matter if they're doing three two or one the one thing that they all have in common is they will get the best price in America <laughs> Andrea let's continue the video all right everybody here's the kitchen uh-huh I wanted to see what's over here so we got our panels um, this is, I always thought this was kind of interesting whenever they have this counter here because it's higher up. Yes, different. I always thought it was a little different and strange. Ooh, mm -hmm. we got nice drawers. Very nice. And above here we have cabinetry. Uh-huh, very nice. I'm not a fan of the mini blinds, Okay. I understand why they're in here. I do like how there's at least a window in the kitchen. Me too. Double sink. Yes, ma'am. Oh, nice area look at that for a trash can would you look at that got a cabinet up here everybody uh-huh and we got a microwave purr, 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 purr. wow matt okay and we got a three burner cooktop magic chef with the glass cover what is it again magic chef magic chef <laughs> you always say it so funny and we got the light up right there very cute and we got a drawer here and another drawer here. Very nice. And over here, yep. we've got this, is this a compressor? No, it looks like a three-way fridge. Does it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Great size fridge for in here. For such a small motor home, yeah. absolutely. Very, very nice. It looks bigger than the camp size, I don't know. Yep, nope, really good size fridge. And then there's even a little bit of storage underneath there. It's very cold already. Yep. Oh, and Andrea, can you pull up that storage under the dinette? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. wow. Tons of storage in this little motor. And home. over here, I would think this is part of the wardrobe slash pantry. You can do whatever you want. It's convertible. Yeah. You can put clothes up there and Cheerios down there. <laughs> Very, Very nice. nice. Awesome. And then over here in the back. Okay. Yep. We're Bedroom. Gonna, yep. Uh, I want to show this first if you want to come. This is really nice storage right here, okay? There's that cushion. Yep, there's the cushion and everything. You have your AC unit right there. Now this USB. bed... USB. Yep. Oh, this bed even has some storage right here. Very nice. Now this bed is prepped for... Um, prepped? Six, not prepped. Uh, <laughs> it can hold 600 pounds. Cool. And you know what I love about this, Matt? I love that there's a screen on that door back yep. there. You can keep it open. And if you have like a, a, a lake view or ocean view, very yeah. nice. And then another nice window right here. And Andre, how do you like to balance this? They're actually not bad. I actually really like them. They're, they're, they're cute. I mean, they're better than what I've seen. So yep. Yep, uh, over sure. here, you have this wall prep for a TV. You can see the coax, electrical outlet. 
And I'm telling you, I think this bed, it does not look like a fool. No, I, th I think it's a queen. Yeah, it's just right here angled, but yeah, it's pretty big. Really nice. And the bathroom. Okay. okay, so this is a tight little fit through here. Okay, yeah, it is tight. I feel like that's a bigger bed. It is, it definitely is. Okay, Over here. look yep. at that shower, great size shower. Again, it's not a great size shower. But when you compare it to other yes. small motorhomes, this shower is huge. When you compare this to a Class B motorhome, this shower is huge, and I love that. Close that. Let's see that. I like how they have that and not the shower curtain. Yep. Okay, so over here we have a cabinet. Uh-huh. We have a fan up there. Fantastic. Cute little sink. Yep. Towel holder. Mirror. And we've got more cabinetry. Yep. Oh, wow, Matt. Look at this toilet. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. It's now time for the toilet test. See the toilet paper holder? I can't get a good, I can't get a good angle of you. No. Oh, nope. plastic. Plastic. Womp womp. Wow, Matt. Let me see if I can close this door. I mean, you can. Can you? Are you yeah, comfortable? but I'm pooping like this. Oh. Like, um, so it's not a prime pooping position. But again, so here's what I'm saying. If, if I'm comparing this against class C's, this bathroom's horrible. But if I'm comparing it against class B's, then it's wonderful. So it's glass half empty or half full. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Andrea, it doesn't matter if it is half empty or half full. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what, what do we do first? Um, I'm gonna say let's do three things we dislike about it. Perfect. Oh, oh, you're raising your hand? I'm ready to go. All right. Well, this. since you are the birthday girl. <laughs> this really bothers me. Yes. Why? I, I really feel like we need to have a convection microwave in here. Okay. There is no oven, so that is a plus. I mean, that is that is a must. Sorry, yeah. a yeah. must. Yeah, no doubt. And, and I don't mind that there's not an oven, but this needs to be the convection yes. oven then. Okay? That's number one. So number two, I love the bunk over the cab, but I hate how it is only 300 pounds bunk over the cab you know um this is big it's spacious it should be able to hold more weight it's just but at wow. the end of the day what do you mean i'm just i thought it would hold more too it just looks right big. with how big it is but at the end of the day at least you know you get more space but i i just wish it it held more weight absolutely so that's number two and then number three number three the steps nope what? The countertop thing. Oh, the countertop? Yes. Really? It's weird, but I wouldn't say that's my dislike. Well, then what's your dislike? My dislike, honestly? Oh, I, I gotta say. We, there has to be something done about this door. Yeah. For people that are going to be bigger, they may not be able to get this motorhome. Right. Because I don't know if a pocket door... I just don't know like well it's, it, I don't know what could have been done because they've already did a good job of saving space here here now try to open the door you know what I mean that's see so not, that's what it is yeah that's not the but the problem is is the tight space here with when you're going to the bathroom I mean for me I'd be okay but maybe other people would be kind of crowded uh -huh. and you can barely even shut the door even you had a hard time yeah yeah for sure that's my dislike okay perfect well that's three things we dislike about it now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome so i'm gonna go first i'm gonna say the storage both inside oh, and definitely outside. um the amount of storage in here for such a small motorhome is huge incredible and insane that's one, the storage. Two. I love the J Lounge. Yes. I'm a big fan of the J Lounge. Yes. I like it because not only can you use it for sitting here eating, you can also be here watching TV and be comfortable like you're on a sofa. You have the little, rep, you know, this comes out so uh -huh. you can put your feet up. And we didn't even mention, you can take this table out and then it is like a sofa. Exactly. And if you ever, if you do have extra guests, yep. you at least have somewhere else that you can sleep them. Yep, exactly. So that's two. And then number three, Andrea, follow me. This back door. Oh. This back door is the coolest thing. I absolutely love it. I love the D-rings. 
Oh, bless you. Thank you. I, I love, love a screen door. The screen door and everything. The, the multi-purpose space in here is absolutely incredible. Not only that, the fact that in case of an emergency, oh, it definitely. is another exit. Oh. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone or again, even better, just go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out one of the contact forms and we will be in contact with you ASAP. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Sure. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Coachman does read the comments and they watch all our videos, so make sure you comment. Um, also, you guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. Yep. And we thank you guys and I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. And Andre, do you see the videos next to you? Boom. Yep, those right there. Those are two videos of direct competition to this unit. Make sure you guys watch them. Make sure you guys join us on Club Art Deco so yes. you know, so you can be friends with Andre and I. <laughs> so you know where we're going and what we're doing, guys. And thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.